I'm Yemi Malim and in this video, I'm gonna do unboxing for Yashica MF1 film camera in purple color. Inside this camera has been preloaded with the original Yashica 35mm film color in ISO 400. And I will also show you guys the final result taken in this camera. Pictures will be taken both indoor and outdoor using with and without flash so you guys can compare it to yourself and for you guys who are still not familiar on how to insert the film into the camera i also will explain it to you step by step on how to insert the film into the camera the new yashica mf1 comes in nine different popping colors pink purple yellow green turquoise blue gray black and so much more it is light weighted but it doesn't feel too plasticky, so I think it's perfect for its price. And because it is really simple, light, and compact, I think it's perfect camera for you guys who are starting to get into film camera. So, what are you guys waiting for? Let's start! Here are the camera parts that you need to know. Pause if you need some more time. This is how the packaging of Yashica MF1 looks like. It has decent and has a very sturdy packaging compared to other film camera that I have purchased before. Inside this camera has been preloaded with Yashica 35 film ISO 400, so there is no need to load film for your first time use. I can say that I am super happy about the color and the matte texture of the camera exterior makes it look seems super expensive. Inside this box, you can find some stuff. A manual sheet, Yashica strap, and also AA battery for camera use. This manual sheet really explains truly on how to operate this camera, so read it carefully. And on the bottom left side of the camera, you can attach the Yashica strap so it won't fall out of your hands. To activate your camera, you would need this AA battery. Insert your battery and close the lid tightly. To turn on your flash, switch on and be sure to see the thread line turn on. Now, wind your advance wheel until it stops to take pictures and press the black button. And voila, you just took a picture. Now, let's load the film. Prepare any 35mm film of your choice and open your back cover door. Now, let's insert the film into the chamber. Flat surface facing down. Make sure your film is neat and completely flat. Hook one of your film slots onto the spool and then slowly wind the film. Before closing the back cover, make sure that the wheel is showing on E or empty. Close the back door tightly and pull up the lever. Now, turn the film rewind crank counter clockwise until it stops turning like this and close the lever. The number here indicates how many film that can be taken and wind your advance wheel until it stops to take pictures. Unloading is actually pretty simple. Open the back cover by sliding lock release down and just pull out your fully ruined film. So that's the unboxing part and now let's get to the final result. These pictures are taken on different time of the day with different lighting source and some of it is indoor while some is outdoor. Some taken using flash and some don't. So you can compare the final result for yourself. For indoor picture, even with good lighting, I tend to use flash because this camera is automatic and I cannot control the ISO. So it tends to go to the darker side. That is why Mm, yeah, I always use flash if it's indoor or if it's gloomy and dark, obviously. So you can try out your film yourself and experiment on it and have fun. I really do hope you enjoy using your film camera because the result could be breathtaking.
many of you guys has been asking me how to see the final result taken with this camera. The answer is to get your film developed. This is not a digitalized camera, so you cannot plug this and connect it to your computer whatsoever. You will need to go to your nearest camera store and ask them to get it digitalized for you. It only takes them one hour and costs around 1,200 yen per one time. And I'm sure there are lots of different camera stores out there nearest to you and you can check and research on that yourself. So I hope this can answer your questions. So thank you so much for watching this video until the end. So did you like the final product taken with this camera? Please let me know on your thoughts on the comment section box below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you again next time. Bye!